Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you my journey of organizing our family photos, which they are pretty much organized, but I want to show how we're going to integrate some new photos into the albums. Um, this is my collection here, and I am old school when it comes to how I store our photos. Um, I know everything is digital now, and I think that is great as a backup, but there's nothing alike sitting around your home with your family and friends and looking through old pho photographs, along with there's something beautiful about an old pho photograph. So, um, because I am old school, I do have photo albums and I have the linen ones that I absolutely love. I get them a variety of places such as Marshalls and Tuesday Morning and TJ Maxx and all of those places. I store them here in uh, our kind of built in in our living room. And recently, um, thanks first, let me say thanks to everyone for your condolences on the passing of Mike's mom. And we inherited uh, a lot of her family photos. And so now I want to make sure that they're protect protected. A lot of them are Mike's pictures as he was a baby and growing up. And I want to integrate them into our home now so that we can enjoy them for years to come. So of course this meant I need to get additional photo albums so that I could accommodate our new photos. And so I did go to those places um, such as TJ Maxx and, and Marshalls and Home Goods, and this is what I found. I also went by Hobby Lobby because I wanted to get a specific uh, book to fit larger photos. And so now it's about kind of going through the process of getting them in the books. And I do want to say that, you know, for those eight by tens, for those five by sevens, you do want to um, not get the standard ones because they have the built-in sleeves for kind of like the four by sixes but if you get one here like this and then buy the sleeves uh, they will accommodate your eight by tens and your five by sevens and so they fit in with the ones that I normally have here that are kind of preset in size but then now I can accommodate all of the photos so let's get started so friends, the first thing I want to say, if, if you have that pile of photos that you need to get organized, one, shop your photo albums, get all your photo albums, and then sit down and sort through them and put them in the piles that you want to group them together. Now I am one, I don't like having all like photos together, like all um, photos of one person together or one vacation together. I like to spice it up so that every book is just very kind of just it has a lot of variety in it a lot of spice it's fun to look through and ask questions it increases engagement with friends and guests and look at these adorable pictures of mike when he was little i call this his little johnny carson picture and <laughs> because he looks like little johnny carson to me but i love uh, now that i have all his cute little baby pictures and things like that so i do want to preserve them and so i have them in a variety of stacks so that when i uh, put the book together it can be very creative and very engaging now the only books that i like to keep kind of uniform form or weddings or special occasions because I think I like all those photos together but just for everyday life photos I like to mix it up and friends this process is not a fast process so make it fun get your coffee put on your music and enjoy the process of organizing your photos just a few tips so one I like doubling up on photos when I can uh, so that it gives um, a, the maximized space with my book and then it's just a neat look to kind of turn the photos to the side now that all of the photos are in here they're ready to be enjoyed but another thing I want to share with you is like when I put the photos in there again maximize that space make sure that all of them are you know facing the same direction if they're landscape or um, horizontal portrait you don't want kind of one twisted to the side to where it makes it um, not as enjoyable when you're flipping through the book and you're having to twist the book to see the photo. Another thing that I do like to do when I'm organizing uh, my book is to leave blank pages in between because the thing is as you you know go on in life I like to, to put new pictures integrated into the old pictures so that it keeps a nice flow with our family photo album so you have a little bit of the new with the old. So friends, now let's move to those larger photos, the five by sevens and the eight by tens. You know, they would not fit in the albums that I have. So what I did was I went to Hobby Lobby and I found this album here in which I can put my own little sleeves in. And so it's the same vibe and the same look of my photo albums, which is important to me visually. But then I can buy inserts so that I can, you know, get as many as I need to complete the album along with it just makes it still enjoyable when everyone flips through the albums. And I love the fact that I can kind of 
have buy as many as I need to complete the book and what is key is that they're acid free now you remember these old school albums and one thing about them they had the kind of adhesive on the back and you'd stick the picture down the thing that I just loathe about these is that they damage the pictures you know after years when you try to pull a picture up it's it, it will rip you know not all times but sometimes it will so it's just to me not the best way to store pictures but what I did was I took all of Mike's like pictures of his aunts and uncles and they had their names written on the back so I put them in their own individual sleeves so that as we go through them we could see who they were because these are their kids pictures so we knew which kid and it was a lot of them so we had to know which you know belonged to whom and so because uh, she had wrote, wrote the names on the back it made it easy so I didn't double up and then using the acid free paper I know um, or sleeves rather I know this is going to be cared for over the years and then if I do want to write on the back use acid free pens and when you go to pull up any pictures off of old albums and you feel like the picture is going to rip I advise you not to pull it up to just leave it on there and just cut the whole board with the picture out and put it in a new sleeve that's what I do because it's more important for me to maintain the photo than to get it off of that board but then when I did get it off the board they curled a little bit and so when I put them in the sleeve and closed the albums they were fine and I'm so happy that the photos are now protected and they're in their new home and they really I know they will last over the years now we have those super duper large photos and these are 11 by 14s or larger and so I'm going to take those and have those professionally framed for our kids um, I want them to be protected and to stay in the family um, but I do want to make sure that they're framed with the appropriate materials to protect them over the years so friends, like I mentioned, organizing photos is a daunting task, but it's so rewarding seeing all your photos put together and they're available for family to enjoy. And my goal for 2018 is one album a month to get the photos digitally kind of transferred so that I have those backup copies to give all of our kids and then just have the backup copies just to have. So that is the goal to make it manageable this year is one album a month. So I'm hoping to obtain and stay on tra um, track with that goal. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed i would love for you to subscribe i will see you at the next video and this is nikki saying goodbye